Notion just released a new update with small quality of life improvements, one of which finally gives us the option to set the default page width to full, at least for database pages. All right, let's jump right into my Notion workspace where you now see a normal Notion page with an embedded database. And you probably know already that for normal pages, you can always click in the three dot menu in the top right corner and find the full width setting which you can toggle on or off in here. And this is still the same for normal pages that you add to your Notion workspace. Nothing has changed here, but at least we have a new option here, which allows us to change a default setting for a specific database. So now we are looking at this sample database. And when I open up this one in full page, you can again go into the three dot menu up here. And now we are opening the customized layout settings. In this new page, you can open up the page settings in the top left corner. And then on the right, you will find a new setting in here, which is called full width. It comes with a small tooltip that also tells you that you can still overwrite this setting by using a different setting on an individual page. But in general, setting this to on will change the full width setting to toggled on for all database pages within the same database. And as you can see on the left, you also have a small preview here. So let's toggle this on for now. And then we click on apply to all pages. And now what we should see here in this database, all these pages are now full width. And also when we add a new page to this database, like I'm doing right now, let's call it page four. And I open this one up, you will see that this one is also immediately set to full width. So if you're working with databases where most pages require you to have the full width setting turned on, then this will really save you a couple of clicks when working with this database and you don't need to do the setting for every individual page anymore. I'm happy to see this new feature and I think it's a step into the right direction. But I would also like to see a similar option being added to the general workspace settings, which applies to all newly created pages within a workspace. You can find a written summary of these instructions on my website by following the link in the description below. Please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel for more Notion related content. And leave a comment below this video to let me know what you think about this new feature. Also make sure to sign up to my free newsletter to stay in the loop about new videos and content and also to get access to exclusive launch discounts for all of my upcoming templates.